here, here's the five critical things that we talk about in performance planning. And planning is so, so important. Uh, if you're going to go on a trip, uh, and today, all you got to do is talk to your phone and tell you where you want to go. And poof, all of a sudden, you know, the whole route's planned out through, through the nav. But let's, let's say, let's say pre, pre-nav, if you wanted to go someplace, you have to pull out a map and say, okay, I'm going to go here and figure out the best way to get there. Well, performance planning on a car is absolutely no different uh, because the number one thing in performance planning is start with the end in mind. You have to know where you're going to end up and you work backwards from there. Anytime I build a new car, a new platform, I always envision the entire car first. What's it going to be? And then from there in my mind, I kind of work backwards on the steps we need to do to get to that point. The same thing. I mean, if, you, if you're going to do a car, then uh, your performance planning, think of that where you want to be ultimately. Uh, and then you can maybe you break it into steps or years or whatever. But you need to start with where you want to be because uh, if you don't, you may do something and, and make an, an update. And all of a sudden for the next step, well, you got to take that up and put something else on. So if, if you're planning out, then everything you put on, you don't have to back up and go backwards. Uh, the next thing is decide whether you're going to build a street car, a track car, or a race car. Because the criteria on components are, com- are not completely different, but very different from each of those. Because you don't want to put race car stuff on a street car, and you don't want to put street car stuff on a race car. So you have to make your mind up which it's going to be. And the track car is kind of in the middle. And in the track car, even, you have to figure out, is it a little street and a lot of track or a lot of street and a little track? Because, again, then all, all the components are, are different. And then you need to start. Uh, oh, the next one is, I can't read my writing. Have, ever since you know, I type so much on the computer, I go to write stuff. I can't even understand my own writing. Uh, it's kind of, I think writing before long is going to be a, a lost art. Uh, expectations and budget. Uh, make sure your budget and expectations are aligned. Uh, a lot of times people have these great ideas on what they want to do. They, they'll call in and get one of my 15 minutes and they'll say they want to do this, this, and you know, what's, the, what's the way to go about it. And, I, and then I say, well, do you have any idea what that's going to cost? And as soon as I t- start talking about what they just outlined, all of a sudden they, a lot of people go numb. Uh, because they really didn't think that far ahead as far as the, their budget and their expectations. So get your budget and expectations in line. That's another advantage of having one of my 15-minute consults is I, if you've got a budget and an idea, a plan, or you know where you want to be, uh, will we'll help you you know work backwards from there. Um, so if you get the, the best route, the most cost-effective, so you don't have to redo things. The next one is stick with, with a proven philosophy. Uh, like my philosophy is completely different than anybody else in the in the aftermarket in, in motorsports or in, in in the Mustang world. Well, do you stick with mine, or if there's somebody else out there that you like, you like the philosophy what they do, stick with it. Don't mix and match. Uh, the worst calls I get is people call in and the, the, the car really doesn't work very well, and they start listing listing off the parts, and they got this component here, and springs there, shocks there, control arms here. They get Everybody's parts on there. Well, as soon as you start putting a whole bunch of parts from a whole bunch of different places, what you're doing is you might not realize it, but you are on your very own R&D program. And, you know, because you're going to have to find out how all that works together. When people call in, they got all that stuff. I mean, I don't have good answers because I don't know how all that stuff works together. Because I've never done it, uh, you know, with, with mine. Mine's pretty, philosophy pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, the whole suspension system we, we do now started in 1986, actually 87, with the championship Saline cars, and it's progressed to the point it is up to actually AGS 4.5 now for the S197s. Uh, so, you know, stick with the philosophy, whether it's mine or somebody else's, because if you stick with, if it's like, you know, the other, another company and you like them, you've had a relationship with them before, stick with them. Because if you have a problem, they're going to be able to tell you how to, how to fix it. If, if you're working with, with my philosophy, my stuff, if you have a problem, we're going to be able to tell you how to, how to work through it. And then the last is choose your parts carefully. Uh, the, wor- the worst thing you want to do is is get, you don't want the cheapest parts ever. Uh, because the cheapest parts are the most expensive. 
And if you're if, you know, long term, uh, cheap cheap parts are long are expensive. Uh, you know, choose your parts. Like if you're using my philosophy, try to get everything from this program. If you like somebody else, try to get all your parts from them, uh, and just you know, just don't get just don't get seduced by all these you know online sites where you've got all these different parts to choose from. Uh, you know, try to stick with somebody that can can can, can tell you what to do. So anyway, that's kind of like the five critical steps. And, and you know, I think I mentioned through here, if you really want help, you know, I've got my 15-minute consults, which we do quite a bit of, and they're very, very popular. Uh, people are pretty blown away to actually take the time to talk to them and share real information, not, you know, something somebody read on the Internet or heard. And what we ended up doing is this is kind of, uh, Terry gave me an existence kind of example we did uh, for, uh, for Joe Doe. Uh, we took the name out to protect the innocent uh, and also uh, the phone number. But uh, this is, it was like for an 18 GT. And I don't know if you can see this. We just go down, you know, step one, two, three, four, five. And, you know, because a lot of people, you know, for budget considerations, you know, can't do it all at once. So I, we, I'll, I'll come up with a plan and we'll put it in a logical uh, format so you can actually you know, do step one, and then when you can afford it, step two, and just go all the way down. And that way, you don't have to back up and redo. Uh, you're using you're using a plan. You're working to a plan. And, you know, you when you put stuff on, it's, it's going to work for the next step you put on and the next step you put on. So performance planning is super critical. And like I say, my 15-minute consults, uh, I, will, I will do the best I can to get you on the right path. Uh, 